But if you mess up, get back up again. Yes, you may get hurt. Yes, you may make mistakes, but get back up. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Princess Renny here, and I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we talk about Christian faith, lifestyle, as well as natural hair. For today's video, it is going to be a Christian faith video. I'm super excited to share this with you guys because it's been something else that's been on my heart. I actually wrote this memo on August 22nd, 2023. I wrote it immediately after a gym session. I had some time. I think I was doing two gym sessions that day, and um, I did one. Then as I was waiting for my other session, I had this um, like revelation laid upon my heart. And immediately my pen to the page, like I wrote like three pages worth. And I know this is not much, but four pages, four pages worth. Um, but it was just like, God was just speaking to me and I wrote it. And I want to read it to you guys because honestly, it was a revelation that made sense. And it was so clear in the way that I wrote it. So I am going to read it like verbatim. So I'll look at you guys and engage and kind of like go, you know, read like a speaker. But in case you guys see me like looking down at it, that's what it is that I'm reading. And I want to make sure I'm delivering this message exactly how God laid it upon my heart. So I'm just going to do it as is. Okay. So bear with me here. Okay. So the title is God's love. And it was him giving me a revelation and a better understanding of his love. Um, in regards to like the relationship that we have okay um, and I want to clarify that because like this made sense to me and it was a revelation to me in regards to the relationship I have with God um, but it might ring true for like you and your relationship with him as well so let's go ahead so the quick story that I wrote was whenever I drop my phone and I'm, I drop my phone a lot I'm gonna be real with you guys I just pick it up it's like okay I dropped it whatever it's fine like people are like oh everyone like reacts like girl what's going on and I'm like it's fine I pick it up and I move on I don't check it for anything I just pick it up um and yeah so I don't worry if it's cracked or anything um or if it'll continue to work because I trust that my phone case right and the screen protector will do the job they will protect my phone from all the damages so like that's just been my relationship with my phone <laughs> okay it drops pick it up whatever move on However, recently I actually tried out this um, new phone case. I changed the phone case. This is where it starts. And like, this is a phone case that I saw sitting around for a while. It was from my brother, but he already has his own phone case that he's been using. It's similar to it. I think it's just a different color. So like, okay, he's been using his phone case for a while. Let me try out this new phone case and just switch it up a little bit. So I tried it out, whatever. I put that same face in that same phone case, only to realize weeks or later that it had failed me. I later saw or realized that there was a significant crack on the side of my screen that seemed a little too prominent only to be the screen protector. I went to a random store in the mall for them to investigate the damage and they shared that they won't be able to tell if the screen is damaged until I take off the screen protector. So, real quick, new phone case. Again, my phone falls. I let it fall. It is what it is. I pick it back up. It falls, pick it back up. But the reason I looked at it was the case itself, the rubber kind of had a break in it. And when I looked at the edge of my phone, it was such a significant crack. I was so scared. So I wasn't sure what that was but I was convinced it could have been a crack on my phone's actual screen. So when I went to the store and they told me that they couldn't figure out what it was until they took off the screen protector, I refused the service because one, I didn't have another screen protector to put back on after the fact, and two, it cost a lot of money, and three, I was also afraid of what it was gonna reveal. Like, what if my screen actually was cracked all along? Right. So like I was, I was scared. I'm gonna, I was scared. All right. This is where the revelation starts that God dropped in my spirit. Okay. So he is the older, reliable phone case. <laughs> God is love and his love is what keeps us whole. His unconditional love is what helps us whenever we fall down. 
we're able to dust ourselves off, right? And keep going without a worry, without a thought of looking in the mirror for any cracks or any brokenness. So his love actually helps us, it renews us, and we don't look like what we've been through because of his love. Now, the new phone case is what we try to put on, which represents the love of the world. That's the new phone case. It's the things that everyone else is doing because it looks or it sounds cool. It provides no protection. It's just an illusion of protection. Come on, it's cool over here. Come on, join us. We have all the friendships, all the cool parties, all the things that the world promises us that's great and cool and awesome. It's an illusion and it's fleeting. So none of that is like lasting. And that's what happens when we try to look like the world. We put on a coating or a covering that was not made for us and it was not meant for us to be putting on. In turn, we end up seeing the brokenness and cracks in the case that will inevitably happen. All the brokenness, all the cracks, everything will be revealed inevitably about the world. But not only is the, the case broken, guys, my screen protector was also broken. Okay? Um, the screen protector is our soul, our spirit being. Just like when we steal, we fornicate, we speak the Lord's name in vain, we curse, anything, any other sin you could think of, right? Um, any sin that grieves the Holy Spirit, our spirit is being affected and is being damaged. And that's the thing. A lot of times when we do things that grieves the spirit, we don't realize that. Like, uh, we're not... Especially if it's something that we're doing continuously and we've been making excuses or justifying that thing, we end up missing the mark or missing the sign that our souls are also being damaged. Not always see it, but others can spot it a mile away, whether they're in the world or safe. Ooh, whoa, let me bring it back. So what this means is that basically if someone is of the world, they can see, oh girl, but you've changed like you're not hanging out with us as much anymore what's going on right or they'll say you're supposed to be a church girl what's going on what's going on there you just like us anyways come on come on they welcome you right so they can see that but also the people in your church will see mm, there's a glow on you or oh you good sis you good so like it will always show no matter where you go so it's very important for us to understand that screen protector our spirit is being deaf and so the phone or the you know the actual screen itself the phone is us right when our spirit being is affected so are we then we look different we end up looking different the spiritual transformation that we receive is our choice do we choose eternal death in the lake of fire just to look like the world and be a part of the things that they're a part of? Or do we choose salvation and everlasting eternal life? And do we choose to live like Christ? I hope you will choose the latter. I hope you will choose life. And I hope you will choose to live like Christ every single day. <sighs> I want to see you guys in heaven. I want to go to heaven too. And I know this journey is not easy. And I know... Um, this analogy is a little different than you probably would have imagined, but your spirit, your spiritual being is being affected with everything that you do and everything that you say and everything that you, you make yourself a part of. So it's important that you understand that, that at the end of the day, there is a heaven and there also is a hell. And I hope and pray that you will choose heaven. I hope and pray that you will choose to live like Christ every single day. But if you mess up, Get back up again. Know that God is that covering that you need that will shield and protect you. Yes, you may get hurt. Yes, you may make mistakes, but get back up. I love you guys so much. And most importantly, God loves you. Okay? So again, I encourage you. I hope that this is a message that you understand and will receive um, and internalize and share with someone. Um, I hope that it